The United Nations is reporting what it calls a deeply concerning increase in allegations of sex abuse by its peacekeepers. There were 99 claims last year against troops from 21 countries. A much-awaited report by UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon for the first time reveals the nationalities of the troops facing the allegations. First on the list was the Democratic Republic of Congo, whose troops faced seven allegations, followed by Morocco and South Africa, each facing four accusations. Yet another damning report of sexual abuses by UN peacekeepers. 69 allegations involved personnel in 10 UN peacekeeping missions, most of them African. Most of the allegations involved peacekeepers from the Democratic Republic of the Congo, seven in all, serving in the Central African Republic. There were also allegations against troops and police from Burundi, Germany, Ghana, Senegal, Madagascar, Rwanda, Congo Republic, Burkina Faso, Cameroon, Tanzania, Slovakia, Niger, Moldova, Togo, South Africa, Morocco, Benin, Nigeria and Gabon. In addition to the CAR, the allegations involved peacekeeping missions in places like Haiti, Mali, the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Cote d'Ivoire. The report includes recommendations for member states to make it easier to identify suspected perpetrators and prosecute them. One of the problems human rights groups say is that it is currently up to UN troop contributing countries to prosecute their soldiers accused of abuse. When such prosecutions happen, the groups say, they often take place quietly and it's difficult to follow up on the results and punishments, if any. It's hard to imagine the outrage that uh, people working for the United Nations and for the causes of peace and security feel when these kinds of allegations uh, come to light, particularly involving minors, which are so, it's so hard to understand. The United Nations is doing everything, the United Nations is doing everything we possibly can to assist the victims, to bring accountability and justice for them, and hopefully to prevent these cases from, or any such cases from recurring. In December, an independent review panel accused the UN and its agencies of grossly mishandling numerous allegations of child abuse by foreign troops in the CAR in 2013 and 2014 particularly harrowing allegations that French soldiers abused young boys in the Central African Republic. Maria Galang, CCTV. Let's get some more insights and analysis on this development from retired Lieutenant General Daniel Opande. He is a conflict resolutionist who has previously served as Vice Chief of General Staff here in Kenya and as Force Commander for the UN Peacekeeping Force in Liberia. And he joins us live now here in our Nairobi studios. General Opande, thank you for joining us. Uh, having previously led a UN peacekeeping mission, are you surprised at these latest revelations in the number of uh, allegations against UN peacekeepers? I'm not I'm not surprised at all. These um, kind of infractions seem to have been uh, following nearly every peacekeeping mission uh, undertaken either by the UN or uh, regional organizations for ages. Would you say that these revelations, coupled with what was described as a reluctance by the United Nations to take action when claims against French, French soldiers in the CAR emerged last year, may be indicative of a deep-rooted culture of sexual abuse during peacekeeping missions and that is only coming to light now? The saddest thing uh, is that despite um, condemnations, despite assurances, by the UN or regional organizations that they will do everything possible to stop such abuses. Um, the abuses continue. Um, I do know that the UN is handicapped. The reason why I say so is because the UN cannot directly um, um, get the abuses you know, out of uh, the scene, what they rely on is to get back to their um, troop contributing countries and request them that do something about it. 
And if the troop country, uh, contributing countries are not um, decisive enough, then the UN is handicapped. I remember during my time, I had you know, some of these um, allegations made against uh, certain troops, and I immediately got in touch with the troop contributing countries I summoned the commanders, those commanders um, who came from those countries right in front of me, and I gave them, you know, an order. Either you sort out your troops or you will, you yourself, and them, I will recommend that, you know, they are no longer here. And it worked. So to build on that point, General Pandey, the UN is now calling for tougher action by contributing nations against their troops who are found to have engaged in the alleged vices. In your view, what needs to be done to stamp out such abuses? I think it is, you know, the, the, the troop contributing countries must work hand in hand with the UN and also the missions themselves. Because in the mission, there is a mission ahead there. There is a force commander. If the three um, segments are not working hand in hand, then you will continue to have these problems. They have to make sure that what is required is done, and is done now, not tomorrow. Indeed. Lieutenant General Daniel Lepande, thank you very much for those insights.